everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. And before we get started, I have someone special to introduce to you. Meet Micah. Hi everyone, I'm Micah and I'm the newest member of the Wondershare Filmora team. With 2021 coming to an end, we hope that we've helped you feel inspired throughout the year. Today, we will be counting down the top five tips for Filmora for 2021. These fun tips were chosen by you for the most useful creative editing. So let's get started. Tip number five for 2021 is the building jump masking trick. By using the masking tool, you can create cool video illusions like this one. Masking allows you to crop a section of your video or overlay something on top of it. I started by mounting my camera on a tripod and making sure the position is at a low level so it's close to the ground. Next, try to center the area of the building and the ground respectively with the subject. Make a mark on the ground to indicate where the subject should jump. Now have your subject walk to the marker to jump and then walk out of frame like I did here. Now let's bring the footage into Filmora and add the clip onto the timeline. One on the first track and one on the second track. Then hide the first track. On the second track, find the frame of the background without the subject and add a freeze frame. Extend the freeze frame area and cut out the rest of the clip. Now let's add the mask. Go to the Utility folder and under Effects, drag the Image Mask effect on the top layer. It's important to click on Invert Mask to make sure the mask is inverted. We will need a combination of multiple image masks for this effect, since we need to mask the sky and leave the building. Feel free to play around with the different mask shapes available in the Image Mask. Then adjust and invert the shapes until the sky is covered. Once you're done with the masking, unhide the first track. Then go to the Timeline, find where the subject appears and cut everything before that frame. Now let's find the frame where the subject is in the air after jumping. Cut the clip in the second track and delete everything after that clip. And there you have the illusion of me jumping over a building. If you want to learn some more fun and easy masking tricks, click up here or in the link in the description box below. Tip number four is pan and zoom shortcuts. Did you know there's a shortcut for pan and zoom in Filmora 10? And it can help you edit faster and more efficiently. Let me show you how it works. Right click on the clip in the timeline where you want to add pan and zoom. Then choose the crop and zoom option. In the pan and zoom tab at the bottom right of the window, there are preset icons that are available. So you don't have to manually move the start and end. You can choose zoom in, zoom out, left to right, or right to left. If you want to see more awesome Filmora tips like this shortcut, check out the link in the description box below. The third tip for 2021 is video slideshow. And who doesn't love a video slideshow? It's a great way to capture memories like a graduation, a birthday, or a special event all in one video. Now let's create a video slideshow in Filmora 10. First, import the photos and videos you want to include in your slideshow, and then add your favorite clips to the timeline. Let's use some features in Filmora 10 to liven up your slideshow video. I'm going to drag and drop the black sample color to the beginning of the video, then the text Title 29 above the black sample color. Double click the text title to change and adjust the text. Pick an animation as well and adjust the duration of the animation by going into the advanced settings and in the text editing timeline, sliding where the text animation begins to appear closer to the end. Now I want the title to fade right into the footage. So under the transition tab, find the fade transition and drag it between the black sample color and the first clip. Next, let's choose a song for your project. Before I add the song to my timeline, I want the music to match the clips in my slideshow. So I'm gonna right click the song and click beat detection. Beat detection will detect the downbeats of the song with markers, which will help show the best places to place your clips to match the beat of the song. Matching your clips to the music will help give your slideshow a smooth edit and keep your viewers engaged. Now I'm going to arrange the clips to the beat markers of the song and trim the song at the end of the slideshow. Placing text and title behind objects is one of the most common ways to create interesting openings. So it's no surprise that this is our tip number two. Drag and drop the selected title on the second video track. 
Double click the title on the timeline to activate the setting panel on the top left. Double click on the text clip on the timeline. Go to the animation tab in the setting window. Select right roll and click OK. Drag and drop another building video from the media library onto the third video track, lining up with the building video on the first video track. Go to the effect panel on the top left, find the utility section, and then drag and drop the image mask onto the building video on the third track. Then I will choose this shape here, as it fits the shape of the building chosen, to stay in front of the text. Adjust the scale and position of the mask until it only reveals the building in the middle. Play it back and the text should be behind the building. Want to try using text behind objects? Watch the full video in the description box below. Adding neon motion effects can really spice up your dance video, so our number one tip is neon dance effects. Let me show you how to do it. First, drag your footage of yourself dancing in the timeline. Double click the video on the track above and change the blend mode to difference in the compositing menu. Next, go to the effects and find pixelated edges effect and then drag it to the video in the top track. And now our edges will have an outline. You can change the color to your preferred choice in the video effects tab. For this video, I'm going to pick blue. Finally, you're ready to export the project. And those were the top five Pomora tips of 2021. We thank you so much for all of your support throughout the year, and we hope in 2022 you guys make some more awesome videos. Which of these five tips have you used so far in your videos? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we'd love to see you back. Keep creating and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. If you want to learn some, ooh, nope. If you want to learn cool, ooh, more. If you want to learn more fun and cool, not fun and.